In this video, we're diving into the symptoms of a bad fuel pressure sensor. By the end of this video, you'll learn about the symptoms of a bad fuel pressure sensor, its causes, and the necessary steps to diagnose, troubleshoot, and resolve it effectively, ensuring your vehicle runs smoothly. The fuel rail pressure sensor, also known as the fuel pressure sensor, is a component in the fuel delivery system of modern vehicles. It is typically located on or near the fuel rail, which is a pipe that distributes fuel to the fuel injectors. The fuel rail pressure sensor's primary function is to measure the fuel's pressure in the fuel rail and provide this information to the EECM or PCM. The ECM or PCM uses this data to accurately control the fuel injection system accurately, ensuring that the engine receives the correct amount of fuel for optimal combustion. A faulty fuel pressure sensor can manifest in various symptoms, indicating potential issues with the vehicle's engine performance. Let's explore the symptoms of a bad fuel pressure sensor one by one. The number one symptom is illuminated. Check engine light, a malfunctioning fuel pressure sensor can trigger the check engine light to illuminate on the dashboard. The check engine light illuminates due to the triggering of trouble codes related to a faulty fuel pressure sensor. Later in this video, we'll discuss common trouble codes associated with a bad fuel pressure sensor. The number two symptom is visible fuel leaks. In some cases, a faulty fuel pressure sensor may lead to fuel leaks from the fuel rail or associated components. This can occur if the sensor fails to accurately regulate fuel pressure, causing excess pressure buildup in the fuel system. The number three symptom is rough running or misfire. Erroneous fuel pressure readings may cause the ECM to adjust the air fuel mixture incorrectly. This can result in a rich or lean fuel mixture, leading to rough idling, engine misfires, or exhaust emissions issues. The number four symptom is engine stalling. Fluctuating fuel pressure readings can cause the engine to stall or hesitate, especially during sudden acceleration or deceleration. This can manifest as momentary engine hesitation or intermittent stalling while driving. The number five symptom is lack of power. A faulty fuel pressure sensor may result in inconsistent fuel pressure readings, leading to inadequate fuel delivery to the engine. This can cause a noticeable loss of engine power, particularly during acceleration or under heavy load. The sixth symptom is poor fuel efficiency. Incorrect fuel pressure readings from a faulty sensor can disrupt the engine's air fuel mixture, resulting in inefficient combustion. As a consequence, the vehicle may experience decreased fuel efficiency and reduced MPG. The seventh symptom is hard starting. A failing fuel pressure sensor may cause difficulty starting the engine, particularly after the vehicle has been sitting for some time. Inconsistent fuel pressure readings can lead to insufficient fuel delivery during startup, resulting in prolonged cranking or multiple attempts to start the engine. A malfunctioning fuel pressure sensor can trigger OBD2 codes. Here are some common error codes related to a bad fuel pressure sensor. The list of related codes is long, therefore we have provided this information in the description with their meanings. Check in the description for more details. To diagnose the faulty fuel pressure sensor issue, you need to ensure that a faulty fuel pressure sensor is the root cause. To confirm the fuel pressure sensor is functioning properly, the sensor needs to be tested. There are different ways to test a sensor. The first test method is to check voltage using multimeter. In this method, we measure the voltage of the sensor output using a multimeter. The sensor's power supply is provided with the car ignition in the on position. Follow these steps to test correctly in this method. The first step is to set the multimeter to voltage mode. Then connect the red probe to the signal wire of the sensor connector. Remember, the signal wire is usually the one in the middle, but it's always a good idea to double check with your vehicle's wiring diagram to be sure. Now take the black probe of your multimeter and connect it to a reliable ground point, like the battery negative terminal or the engine block. Next, turn on the ignition key without starting the engine. This allows power to flow through the sensor for testing while keeping the engine off. Finally, check the voltage reading on the multimeter. 
Typically, the voltage should read between 0.5 and 1.5 volts. If the voltage falls outside of this range, it indicates a faulty sensor that needs replacement. The second test method is to check resistance using a multimeter. In this method, we measure the resistance of the sensor. Follow these steps to test correctly in this method. The first step is to switch the multimeter to the resistance mode. The second step is to connect the probes of the multimeter to the power and ground wires of the sensor connector. Typically, the power wire is red and the ground wire is black, but refer to the wiring diagram to confirm. The third step is to ensure that the ignition key is turned off to prevent any electrical interference. The fourth step is to measure the resistance between the power and ground wires. Refer to the workshop repair manual of the vehicle to find the typical range of resistance for the fuel pressure sensor. If the resistance falls outside of this range, it indicates a faulty sensor that requires replacement. When a car exhibits the symptoms mentioned above and the fuel pressure sensor has been checked and found to be in working order, but the issue persists, it's essential to inspect the other components of the air intake monitoring system that exhibit the same symptoms of bad fuel pressure sensor. Issue number one is the faulty fuel pump. A malfunctioning fuel pump can cause symptoms similar to those of a bad fuel pressure sensor, including engine hesitation, rough idling, and difficulty starting the engine. Check the video on bad fuel pumps in the corner to learn more about its symptoms, causes, and the necessary steps to diagnose. The number two issue is a faulty fuel regulator. If the fuel regulator is faulty, it may cause fuel pressure issues similar to those caused by a bad fuel pressure sensor. This can result in engine performance problems and trigger the check engine light. Check the video on bad fuel pumps in the corner to learn more about its symptoms, causes, and the necessary steps to diagnose. If you found this video informative and helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow automotive enthusiasts, and subscribe for more content on automotive diagnostics and repair. Your support helps us create more valuable content like this. Thank you for watching.